So we've done some simple querying in Data Prime. We've done some basic aggregations. We've done some simple uh, filtering. Now let's take things up a level and do some more complex operations. Um, so we have a simple source logs um, here, and you can see I have some uh, data from our CoreLogix Rum feature, which is actually our real user monitoring, uh, which tracks browser-based interactions. And I want to start generating some real powerful insights from this. So um, we'll begin with some simple stuff, and we'll take things up a level. Um, so we'll start by just doing a group by, and um, we can actually see the uh, page context here. So for example, I'll do $d.cx rom and then i'll look for page context i can see page url that's a pretty good start actually um so we'll run that and see what happens first so we can see we've got a bunch of different pages so these are all the different pages that customers are loading on the CoreLogix app so okay cool that's that's interesting but what can i do with that um first of all i can count um the number of rows because i know that's uh, the page hits so instantly um, I've got something interesting there. So I'll call that $d.page hits, for example, like this. So now I know the number of page hits I've got. And what I'll do is I'll maybe I'll move this. Now, the, the ordering of the columns doesn't persist between queries, but you can move the columns around as you go, and it helps you just discover things a little bit more easily. So you can see here that you have uh, page hits. So now we know uh, the activity of each different endpoint and how often these things are coming up. That's pretty nice. Um, but the thing with uh, aggregations and, and, and grouping and things like that in data prime is you can do multiple aggregations. So you can kind of build up these really intelligent reports as you go. So for example, now I can say, okay, give me the largest um, uh, data transfer exchange that happened in a single hit. So this could be page loads that were very, very expensive or very, uh, very high volume. I can do that because the run data also contains uh, transfer size as well. So if I look for, in fact, I can just you take advantage of uh, the autocomplete here. So I'll call that and I'll call that example. So now I've got a count on the number of page hits. I also have a, a max on the transfer size. So that's interesting. So now I know what's being hit the most and what has the highest, what has a spike in page volumes as well. So that's kind of cool. What else can I do? Well, I can actually add up all these, um, this transfer size. So I can take, I can take that, I can add that up and I'll, add that here. Now I have a count, a max and a sum all in the same query. Um, and again, we can just reorder these columns if we want. And we have the page here, the number of hits, the largest page size and the largest single request and the total bytes that have been exchanged. So you can see here, for example, this has 6,000. It's a huge volume of bytes exchanged there. Um, now this bytes exchanged, let's say it's in bytes. Um, I can divide this. So I can go to my actual expression here. Let's say divide that by 1024. That's going to get me uh, it presumably in uh, kilobytes or megabytes, uh, depending on what the um, the original unit is. Um, and then I can I can do that again if I wanted to to get to gigabytes and so on and so on. The idea being is that this can be divided. This can also, by the way, be divided by another expression entirely. Um, so I could divide this uh, sum by uh, the count again if I wanted to. You know. Um, so I could run that, and that's going to give me the sum of all divided by the count, otherwise known as the average. Of course, I can just run the average as well. But you see my point here is that you can run these divisions over other ex other expressions, other single static values. This is where data prime starts to get really, really magical because you can start to get really clever about um, how the data is organized. And of course, you can also order. So if I throw an order by here, and I say, okay, I, w I just want the, the endpoint that has been the most um active so that'll be the total byte exchange that's the one that those are the endpoints that have um been uh, the busiest this is in descending order so let's just make it descending and we can see here that we have this m we have a page that isn't reporting any uh, actual any page url huge volume of bytes exchange there so there's probably a gap in some of our reporting here some of the, the data that we're generating for our app and then we can see here that we have the next one down I can just extend this column a little bit, is our dashboard page. That kind of makes sense. It's the home dashboard. Um, and then you can see here there's a, a huge volume. So what we can do is we can actually break down all this HTTP traffic into a report of which pages are loading, which pages have the largest 
a footprint, which pages are seeing the most activity and so much more, all in a single query. The beauty of this is because we did the group by, we, we started with a very, very large volume of logs, but actually in terms of rows, it's only 1,116 rows now. I could go further and start to mask, because you can see here, for example, we have different IDs in the, um, in the URL. I could use, for example, the redact function to hide these IDs and actually break it down to the original feature, the, the first slash, if you like. So that's really nice. Um, so the power of this is that you can, you can actually run analytics on a huge volume of data within the CoreLogix platform using Data Prime, rather than exporting a huge volume of data from CoreLogix. This is like the real magic of Data Prime, in my opinion, joining together multiple different functions and different aggregations to create the exact report you need without ever leaving the context of CoreLogix. And then of course you can, you can export this data, you can do whatever you want with it after that. You can create alerts around this data. It's very, very powerful. Um, but what it means is that you can, um, you don't context switch, you don't jump around. Instead, you just do your analytics inside of the CoreLogix platform using Data Prime.